Daddy's here. Daddy's here and he's here to feed you some treats that you actually can eat. So in this series of Kevin's Chill Chicken Care, we've talked about how to get started with them, what breeds are good, and today we're gonna talk about why you may not want to toss all of your food scraps to your hens, whether it be because of a toxicity reason or just because you don't necessarily want to give them that much. They're great, they're amazing, their poop is a fantastic fertilizer, but you do have to make sure you balance their diet out. So we're gonna go over some things that you really should avoid feeding these beautiful hens. The first off is a plant family, and that would be the nightshade family. So that means your tomatoes, your potatoes, and your eggplants. All of those, even for humans, can contain solanine, like a green potato. What's happening when you have that green potato is, oh, lav. <laughs> She's doing a little skateboard trick. What's happening when a potato turns green, it's not actually the solanine that's turning the potato green, it is the chlorophyll. It is photosynthesizing, so the actual tuber is turning green, but simultaneously, solanine content is rising in that potato. And this can happen with your eggplants and your tomatoes, etc. And that can really mess with a chicken's digestive system, their, their nervous system, all of that kind of stuff. So you could, in theory, give them like some sort of cooked potato, tomato, eggplant, but it's sort of just like, why? There's, there's not a great reason for it. I think I'd rather just toss that in the compost. So I avoid giving them any sort of tomato leaves, potato leaves, potatoes, and eggplants. The next crop to avoid is one that I actually don't have on the property, but I've tried growing a few times. If you're a friend of the channel, you know, and that would be the avocado. So my neighbor has some avocado. So we do have some fresh avocado every year about this time. And it's tempting to take the skins and pits and toss them in the chicken coop like this. But you really don't want to do that. The flesh may be okay for chickens, but the skins, the pits, all of that good stuff, you don't want to give them because it has a toxin called person. So person, they're quite sensitive to this toxin. It can harm their hearts, it can harm respiration, and you'll see signs of that toxin having an impact after about 12 to 24 hours. So to be safe, just keep avocado completely out of the coop. Our next crop are anything in the allium family. You want to avoid them because there are sulfur compounds in alliums that can cause issues with the esophagus in hens. It can cause ulcers in the esophagus. And honestly, there's not too many reasons why you'd have a ton of alliums left over. Maybe when you're harvesting bulbing onions, uh, then you can just toss those in the compost or a bokashi compost or any other sort of non-chicken related composting system. It can also cause anemia. So that would mean like leeks, garlic, onions, green onions, bulbing onions, scallions, any of that stuff, I would really avoid giving your hens. Citrus is another one that it's tempting. Certainly here in San Diego, it's tempting for me to give citrus peels or extra citrus that I'm not using to my hens and just toss it in here. But there's a lot of citric acid, of course, in citrus. And while small amounts can be okay, large amounts can actually prevent your hens from creating enough calcium to form healthy eggs and eggshells. So you might find, <laughs> you might find that you have pretty thin eggshells if you feed too much citrus to your hens. So this is a pretty serious one, and this would be cocoa or chocolate, you do not want to give it at all to your hens. It can really affect their heart and it can happen as quickly as 12 hours after she thought maybe I was going to give her some chocolate. I'm not going to, Rufio. You're fine. Long story short, you can just literally give your hens a heart attack if they eat too much chocolate within about 24 hours or so, so completely avoid it. Plus, who's throwing away chocolate? I mean, come on. Okay, this next one's kind of weird. I didn't know people were doing this, but giving your hens cannabis is probably not the best idea. I think some people are doing this in exchange for different biomedical treatments for their hens uh, as an immune booster. There's not really any credible study that's showing that this has significant impact and eating those THC laden buds can cause vomiting in your hens, can cause skin irritation, etc. So it's kind of one of those things that I don't know why people are wanting to go this direction, but it, it's not a good idea, at least until studies come out that prove it has way more effect than some of the more standard treatments. Save the best for last, and by best, I mean the absolute worst. You do not want to feed your hens. Rufio's really waiting, I'll give you a little bit. You do not want to feed your hens dried beans. The reason why is there's a compound called phytohemagglutinin, or PHA, that is in legumes and it is extremely toxic to hens. I'm talking that your hens need to eat about two, three, four beans worth, like way less than what's in my hand right now, and it could be fatal. So onset of symptoms will happen within the first hour, and you'll see 
pancreas and kidney damage, you'll start to see potentially organ failure and then lowered egg production. And if they eat too many, it actually can and will be fatal to your hens. So do not feed your hens any sort of dried legume. So lavender and the rest of our hens, they get some scraps here at the homestead, but they don't get any of those seven crops. If you wanna know how to get started with hens from A to Z, check out our guide. It is super comprehensive and it will take you from absolute noob, like I was about a year and a half ago when I first started raising these girls, to a very loving and responsible, ooh, wow. So if you're looking for a full get started guide with hens that takes you from a total noob like I was, Rufio, chill. I swear, Rufio has gone from being the absolute most weak hen to a threat, to a menace. And you know what? You're not gonna get rewarded for that. I'm gonna give you some snacks through the wall. If you're looking for that guide, check it out right here. It'll take you from noob to a loving chicken parent. Good luck in the garden, my friends, and keep on growing. I gotcha. You can't help, Siri. Stop. <laughs>